Jello and peanut butter, everyone. It is Aurora Sims, and we acting cool like we's in middle school. It is episode number six of the Behind the Family series. I'm super excited because we have made it far, so far. I didn't even know we could make it this far, boo. Like, we made it so far, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here with the gameplay, which is always fun. So, this episode is pre-recorded as well as episode 7. The reason that I'm going to be telling you guys this is a lot of your suggestions or comments won't be done until episode 8, so that makes any sense. Anyways, this episode, I think Spencer is ready to cut the cord on his relationship with Samantha. He's tried to make it work. He's tried to be the nice guy. He's tried to, you know, really make his family at amends again. And it's really difficult to do when your wife is constantly cheating on you and making you feel like the bad guy. So this episode is going to be a crazy one, but I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So I think the sound is a little too loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. Hopefully that works. I don't even know. Anyways, it's okay. If the sound's too loud, I apologize, but we will definitely get that fixed the ne next episode. Let me just do that right now. Hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second. One second, girl. Okay. Let's see. Let's try this out. All right. Boom. Bang it a bang bang. And another thing that I also got comments on was Maisie's makeover. You guys said that you didn't like her eyebrows or the outfit, like I should change her outfit up a little bit more, which I definitely agree with. But last episode, I was kind of on a time crunch and really didn't have time to do any of that. So I will be changing up Maisie a little bit. You guys also said that you liked Maisie and Spencer together, which I thought was really weird. I wasn't expecting that considering like Viola ended up being with Spencer's best friend so it just kind of became this like threesome best friend brother kind of thing and then that would the same thing would apply with Maisie so I don't really know how that would work and also Spencer's kind of ready to tie down the knot now and Maisie won't be aging up until like 10 or something days so he's not really gonna wait for her to age up I feel like that would just be too crazy but of course if the if it happens if the thing flows whatever I'm not gonna crush you guys' bubble because it could happen no one ever knows with this LP at this point so so right now we are actually going to go ahead and cut up some gems. I think we've got a few things here and then I also want to get this smelted. What are you doing? Who is this? Who is this man? Oh, this is Spencer. <laughs> Who is this random dude? All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Where's Ika? Let's play with her a little bit. She, our little queen, our little queen, queen Ika of the house. I feel like Samantha is not even the mother of the house. Ika is. Like, she's the queen of all queens. Let's go ahead and rub Ika's belly and take care of her real quick. Give her some loving. Okay, and then Jackson is just kind of hanging around. He's doing whatever. He actually wants to enroll Viola in boarding school. I don't really know why. I don't really know how. But I know we going to make it somehow. I don't want her to go to boarding school, though, because, of course, you guys know Viola might be the heir or Raina of the family. So I don't really want to send them off. I might send Raina, maybe. I don't know. Do you guys think Raina should go to boarding school? She's going to age up shortly, so I don't really think... Raina deserves to go to boarding school. I mean, she hasn't done anything bad or anything. She's just kind of in her own world. But let's go ahead and make up this bed real quick. And um, let's see what else we can do. See what else we can do. The Pike family, nobody cares. Go somewhere. Go somewhere, Pike family. So Viola actually needs to vomit. It's really hard having Viola, and then sometimes I call her Violet. Like in the last episode, I called her Violet, and I didn't even realize until I listened to it. Did anybody cook something? Raina's such a good girl. She's just over here doing her homework. I can only imagine what she's going to be like when she's a teenager. She's going to be crazy. Absolutely cray. Okay, so what are you guys doing? Are you... Okay, so she's cooing over her children. Samantha's trying, but Jackson's just not hearing it. He's so tired. He's so tired of it. Let's be friendly and apologize and see if he'll he'll feed into that crap. <laughs> Maisie and Raina are working on their homework together. So, yeah, 
yeah, their relationship is improving a little bit. I mean, it ain't it ain't a uh, all cupcakes and rainbows, but it's definitely getting somewhere. We're gonna worry about our relationship. He's like, I don't care. You did this to yourself, girl. What you're talking about worrying about our relationship? This is your fault. We're going to praise him because he's such a good dad. We're going to text Zach and send him a friendly text and tell him what's going on with our family right now and uh, just kind of everything. So let's see. They're so cute. They're just doing their homework together. It's adorable. I love Maisie. I think she's going to be a great addition to this LP here. I can't wait to see how they all look when they grow up. Spencer, what are you doing? He wants to become friends with Viola again and buy a hot tub. We're not doing that. Not doing it. Oh, he's holding his sister. They're so cute. I love it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, tickle her a little bit. When in doubt, you know, Harmony and Ika are definitely the positives to all of this. Where did Harmony go? Oh, I was like, where did Harmony go? Disappeared into thin air. Oh, so cute. I love it. They're adorable. She's not even smiling. She's just like, let me down. Okay. So I think it's time to split it up. I think we have, you know, kind of reached our limit here. And I think Samantha and Jackson need to take a little break. So let's go upstairs and do that and kind of end this i'm really sad i mean i'm you know this is their family breaking up this isn't just whatever it's kind of just they have so many kids together it would be different if it was just them too but they have three beautiful children we're actually just going to argue with her a little bit what does he have on that is not cute Okay, she's like, dude, calm down. It is not that serious. And let's break up with her while our phone rings. And their marriage is done. She's like, I don't care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Like, she was just, she just shrugged it off. Samantha is a sass queen. I love it. She does not care. She's like, okay, bye. Bye, Felicia. Okay, so ex-husband. That's so sad. Oh. I'm really sad about that. I don't want to see them end it, but of course, Jackson was ready. He was, it's the end of an era. Jackson Green just divorced Samantha Green. This is a sad day that won't be forgotten soon. So let's see if the kids got any, yes, they did. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, witnessing a breakup is truly heart-wrenching. Hopefully the two Sims can reconcile and find new love elsewhere. Oh my gosh, like all the kids are so sad right now because their family is done for, <laughs> done for. I wonder who they're going to go with and guess who's calling and guess who, so much is going on. <laughs> Haley wants to talk and then we got her who's pregnant and she's got that going uh, on. So Viola found out that she was pregnant. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's a floating head. Guys, she's floating. She's a, she's a floating head. Oh my gosh, I'm like really concerned. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on? She's a floating head. This is too much. I don't think I bought any maternity clothes. Okay, there we are. That's better. All right, so I think just with her uniform, she's a, I mean her uh, sleepwear, she's a floating head. So I think she's found out and she's ready to tell the one person that has always been there for her. Even though her and Spencer have had a little bit of a disagreement lately. Stop being headless. Get, stop it, Spencer. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. Put your head back on. I mean, put your body back on. Okay, stop changing. Even though her and Spencer have had their complications, I think that at the end of the day, they're brother and sister, and Spencer's always going to be there for his little sister. Even though she might just piss him off by doing this, because this is not the smartest idea to tell your brother that you are pregnant with his best friend's child. That's not, 
something every man wants to hear definitely not every brother wants to hear if my brother ever heard that from me he would literally slice my head so off. she's actually begging him for forgiveness and he has forgiven her which is fine so now what we're gonna do is we're going to announce her pregnancy sigh okay i can see that you're sorry just make sure to behave in the future all right perfect so now we're gonna tell her okay so i mean you know he's kind of i feel like spencer is kind of bipolar and he's okay with it now but eventually he'll be like are you kidding me so i think what he's gonna do is he's going to argue with her and tell her how stupid she's being he's like how could you do this you know, this is your freaking life that you're just throwing away. Not only are you having a freaking child with my best friend, but you're also just throwing your future away. Like, what the heck is going on? So their relationship is not okay at the moment, and she doesn't honestly care. She just told you something. She feels like she just told him something very important that she would never tell anyone else, and he's acting like a little douchebag. So she's going to go to bed, and I think Spencer is going to do some writing. And we're going to create a book. And you know what we're going to name that book? You know what we're going to name that book. <laughs> it's going to be a fiction. A fiction book. A true story. All right. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Spencer. You're not going fast enough. Let's go ahead and name this book right on quick and start our new novel. And I'm very excited for you guys to hear this title. My Pregnant Teen Sister. And that's how you play the game. <laughs> so he is starting his new book, The Life of My Pregnant Teen Sister. That is going to be the longest book ever written in the history of life. But I am super excited to see Viola's new child and to see whether or not it's going to be a boy or a girl. Leave your comments down below. Do you think it's going to be a boy or do you think it's going to be a girl? And definitely leave me some baby names because I really think that it would be awesome if we can get some beautiful baby names kind of rolled around in our heads. I really like creative names. Obviously, all the people in this family kind of have different names, especially Harmony. I think hers is the weirdest out of them all. But yeah, leave some cool baby names down below, boy and girl, and I will choose one to name after, to name Viola's baby thing. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching, and you guys have an awesome day. Adios, muchachos.